hello, 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 and welcome to the channel. For those of you that are on for the first time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. So, guys, today we are in the design room. We're in the design room, y'all. Listen, it's going to be quick. It's going to be quick, but it's going to be powerful, and it's going to get some money in your bag. Some money in your bag. Listen, guys, so today we're still working on Mother's Day. Don't play and act like y'all don't know what holiday is fastly approaching us, guys. So we're going to be working with Mother's Day until Mother's Day, okay? So listen, guys, these are the amazing mugs that I got from Dollar Tree, guys, for $1.25, of course. And listen, I bought some yesterday. And how about I went back again today? I told y'all, I know that I need to get um, however many of an item. But I'll only get a few and then go right back the next day and get another one. I need y'all to pray for me because I need prayer in the area. Don't you know you're going back? So go ahead on and get the item shoe. Go ahead and get them. But anyway, y'all, I put some plastic in here. Normally use newspaper. But I put plastic in here because I had excess paper left. So we just used the paper. And these are some little um, lotion slash foot cream little kits that I paid 50 cent for at Dollar General after the Christmas sale. So guys, look, we're just going to sit this right up here. This is going to be very, very simple. We are working today and we did yesterday as well on little small gifts that you can make for those of you that do not have a whole lot of money to invest and also for those of you that need to get um, more inventory remember i always teach you guys do not just have expensive gifts but have um less expensive gifts as well for people that don't have that much money but still want to celebrate that holiday okay so that's what we have these items for so we're going to get right to building, guys. And all I'm doing is taping this to the mug, okay? Like I said, this is going to be a real, real simple um, gift that we are going to be doing here. And I'm going to add this dove to this as well, okay? We're going to sit this dove right on top of here, y'all. Y'all know all women, well, most women anyway, love dove soap. So we're going to set that right up here on top of it. And we're going to tape that down to it as well. Nothing complicated. See y'all? It's all sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. So then we're going to come in with our shred. And this particular shred here, my shred normally comes in bulk. But this was some pretty little pink shred I saw um, at Target. Target, for those of you that was on my video. And, and I told y'all my daughter be laughing at the way I say Target, so at Target. Okay, I got it from there for like 60 some cent. Yep. I'm just gonna stuff some in there, y'all. Y'all see how cute and quick this is? This is a quick little way to fill your bag and get your money, honey. Just like this. I'm using this um, scissors to stuff it down because it's kind of tight on the side. And just like that, in less than three minutes, you got a little gift mug. And y'all, I'm making sure that I have a whole lot of these because like I said, some people come to my table and they're not only buying for their mom, they might want to get something for their aunt. Sometimes I have pastors that come that want to get... Um, items for the mothers at their church so you just want to make sure that you have a great great supply and guess what worst case scenario you get stuck with some of this stuff but we're not but if you get stuck with some of it just store it up and put it up for next year as you will notice i do not use much candy if i use candy it's hard candy or candy that um <clears throat> does not perish soon okay I definitely don't use um, chocolates being that we're in the hot summer months and we do not want our products to melt. So be um, considerate of that as well when you use candles, okay? I do have candles in a few of my gifts, but not that many of them. 
and the ones that do have candles in them, I'm going to be very cautious as to where I set them out under my tent, okay? And normally, my gifts sell really quick, so hopefully they won't be on the table long enough to melt. I always keep an eye or have my husband to keep an eye on the items that have candles in them. And what I normally do is sit them towards the back. Let's turn this around so y'all can see. We just taping it up as if it was a normal gift. That's all, guys. And remember, I said when you put the tape up there, don't just play, lay it down. Pull it and make it go where you want it to go. And that's how you get the tightness and the firmness. It's not by just um, laying the tape up there, but laying it up there and then pulling it firmly. Okay? You got to put some muscle in. You got to put some muscle in. Okay? Make sure you put some muscle in what you're doing. Don't just let stuff flap around and do what it want to do. You got to control the plastic, baby. And you got to control the tape. And just like that, back. Bam, 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 bam. We got a cute little gift. We spent $125, $50, $175, and $125. We spent $3. And I'll say with the bow and with the wrapping, we spent about $350, guys. We are going to be charging anywhere from... More than likely, it's going to be 20 bucks. 20 bucks. So, great little profit. A great little profit. And some of you may be um, insecure about charging $20 for this. But let me show you some things that you can add to it that will get your confidence built up. When you add a little bit, of, a little bit more stuff to your um, items and you add your bows to it, those are the things that go ahead and make you confident, baby, with charging your $20. And you won't be charging 10 and you won't be charging 15 but you will be charging 20 confidently because you have taken the time to make some homemade, handmade bows, okay? So we're going to use the tubing. And not only are we going to use the tubing, we're going to come back with our ribbon as well, guys. These are the things right here that go ahead and tip your gifts up a few notches, okay? I'm going to do this real quick, y'all. We got to hustle hard. We ain't got time to be spending a whole bunch of time. If your bow ain't perfect, just keep on going. Don't, don't have it up that ugly now. But go ahead and take your... I mean, don't take so much time, but go ahead and get your items going. Get your bows going. And get your price tags on there. And y'all, you in the house. You in the game. And people be saying, well, people my way don't want to pay this and they don't want to pay that. If they want the item, they'll pay. They paying increased prices at Walmart and other places. Golden Corral, Texas Steakhouse. What make you and make them think that gift basket designers and people that work for themselves aren't going to go up on the prices? The items have gone up, so why am I not going to go up on my craft? Be confident in what you charge. And where one won't, baby, trust me, five or ten will. Bam, y'all. We got a cute little gift bag right here. Basket, mug, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, you know what I need you to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, y'all. And some of y'all have been telling me you're not getting notifications. Un I don't want to say unlike, but unhit, if that makes sense. Unhit the bell and then hit it again. And when you hit it, make sure you select the word all. That means you will get all my notifications. Okay, guys? Love you so much. Until the next video, get your money, honey, and feel your bag.